guys, I'm Eric. And I'm Grace. We're the Wandering Ravens. And today we are joined by our dear friends Connie. Hiya. And Jeff. Hello. They are going to be doing their best to teach us some of their favorite British slang. And we're going to do our best to teach them some of our favorite American slang. Before we begin, where in the UK are you from so that we know where your slang is coming from? So I'm from the southeast of England, so I only know that slang. That's what I'll do my best to do today. And I'm from Northern Ireland. And so you guys know where Grace and I are coming from. We're from Seattle, Washington. And I also spent some time living in the South, so there's a little bit of Southern slang sprinkled in. Are you guys ready? Ready. We are. Let's do this. So we're gonna start with taking the biscuit. Taking the biscuit. Taking the biscuit. I have a problem because I, I get confused as to what an English biscuit is. I always forget, because Americans, we have different oh, yeah. a different definition of the word biscuit. This so, is like a cookie, right? It's, <laughs> it's kind of figurative. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay, taking the biscuit. There aren't any biscuits involved. There are no biscuits. Okay. <laughs> I think taking the biscuit means stealing the spotlight. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. And what I, do you think? I think it means to take the blame for something. Oh. Interesting. No. Ah. And no. Oh. Good guess. Taking the biscuit is making fun of someone. Oh. What? It's it's like another one that we have. We have a lot for this. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit like taking the mick. Taking the mick. Taking yeah. the mick. Taking the piss. Yeah, we have taking the piss. Taking the piss. We don't oh. have that. I've heard. British people use it. Yeah. We use it for before. everything. So in British slang, if you say taking the mm, it usually means like you're making fun of something. Yeah. Taking any anything really. Our first American slang is snowbird. You could have started on us easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I snowbird is a snowbird. No peeking. You can't copy me. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys use this on the East Coast, but on the West Coast we use This snowbird. is a very common yeah. phrase. Okay. No idea. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Complete guess. Someone who isn't around very often. Ah. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. All right. And Mine is like Eric. Someone who travels south for the winter. Oh. Oh. Actually. Are we both on home? the money? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Correct. Oh, In Washington State, because it gets a bit drab, kind of like the UK does during winter time. We have a whole demographic of the population which we refer to as snowbirds because mm -hmm. as soon as fall rolls around, they head south and move to their houses in Arizona. Yeah. The next one is on your bike. On, on your bike. bike. On your bike. On your bike. I think it, it is like, you bet. It's kind okay. of like, in a you sentence, bet. like, if somebody says something and you're like, you bet, you're like, on your bike. <laughs> on your bike. Mine is, you're a responsible person. Ooh. So, oh, you don't, you know, you're paying off your student loans responsibly. Oh, on your bike, man. You're on your bike. <laughs> wow. <interesting. laughs> so you haven't fallen off the bike. Yeah, you haven't oh, fallen off the bike. Okay. That's why it's going to be dead That's steady. Nice. Yeah, you're a steady bloke. Oh, okay. You're going to break it bloke. to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Yes. No. Ugh. And no. Yeah. <laughs> no on your bike is like, get out of here, no way. Uh -huh. If I was selling you a car and you said I'll give you a hundred pounds, I'd say on your bike, mate. On your um, bike. Like no way. No way. Like, yeah. My okay. car's worth at least 200 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> and the next one is panhandling. Panhandling. Oh. Panhandling. Panhandling. Don't peek. They're, they're both going to town. Yeah. And they're riding. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay. Okay. All right. Someone who isn't being honest. Ah. Oh, that's good. I'm not feeling really confident from their uh, response. No. <laughs> okay. Asking or begging for something, like someone, someone who might have a cup out for money in the street, maybe mm -hmm. that kind of thing. No. Uh -oh. Sorry. On the money. Again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, I'm in it. Yes. Did you get through the Last night. So our next English one is six of one, half a dozen of the other. Six, six of one, half, but that doesn't make sense because it's six of each. Uh, is an American dozen the same as a British dozen? Mm. Oh. 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 Is it not? <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> have you ever heard of a baker's dozen? Do you it's have 13. that in America? Well done. That's, what, mm. that's how many kids my mom has. Ah. <laughs> a baker's dozen. Mine is 
to ask for a complete set of something. So you want the whole okay. lot? Yeah, you want yeah, the whole okay. lot, want basically. Whole lot. Okay. Yeah. Yes. No half measures. I think it means lots and lots, or a, a bunch, or a ton. So you okay. just want very specific there. You time. want a lot. Of a lot of something. Okay. okay. Right. All right. Ready? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah. And uh, no. Oh, <laughs> you're doing so badly. <laughs> so it's it's two things that are about the same. Exactly so, the same. Yeah. There's there's no real difference. You could say, oh well, shall we take shall we take the back roads or do we want to go down the main mm. road? And someone could say, well, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, really. Your next Americanism is eat crow. Okay. We don't have we don't we don't eat crow very often. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Only. Easter, really, we eat crow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about this one, but I'm not gonna peek. You don't don't peek. peek. Okay. Go away. <laughs> eat crow. Eat crow. Yeah, like yeah. that. Exactly like that. I, I don't think much of what you just said. They're you know, panhandling. If they're panhandling, you might be eat crow, but I think they seem a bit mean. It does. It doesn't sound like a very friendly thing anyway. I'm thinking I'm more along the lines of tough luck, you've got to get on with it. Ah, oh, that's Ooh, good. Okay. Like, circumstances are hard. Yeah. Keep calm and carry on. Keep eating crow. the crows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what it actually means is to go apologize for something. Ooh. We'd like, say eat oh, humble pie. Go eat crow. Yeah, it, like, yeah. 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 humble pie. We say that yeah. one too. Yeah. We so that. They're, they're equivalent. So if you're apologizing to someone, you might say, I'm, I'm here to eat crow. Ah, oh, we've got an Irish one for you now. Okay. Can you tell us what wind your neck in means? Oh gosh, well that sounds pretty violent. It does. Wind your neck, can you say it with an intonation? Wind your neck in. Wow, that's, that sounds hard. Have you thought before? Oh. Uh, on me. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, okay. Wind your neck in, wee lad. What I think it means is when somebody is being particularly annoying, you say it to them as a me like you know, like you know, if you your your neck is a vulnerable place if you have it exposed. Like in olden times, somebody could like <laughs> somebody could off you. Does okay. that make sense? Okay. okay. What do yeah. you think? Okay. Um, I think it means cut it out or stop it. I think that's really accurate. I think you've done a great job. Yeah. I mean? It just means whatever you're doing, just stop it. Oh, yeah, both yeah. of you. So yeah. it doesn't yeah. mean like, really annoying and you, you know, want your, to stop. your neck is vulnerable and so yeah. in the older I mean, that's very deep. Wind your it's neck not that deep. <laughs> so if you're apologizing to me profusely for something I don't think, if I'm like, stop eating crow, wind your neck in. Probably if they were being annoying to you, like if I, if I was just shouting at you and you know, uh, so it's more violent. getting ahead of myself, yeah, you'd be like, more wind your neck in. Confrontational. It's not a good way of solving an argument. The next one is Gucci. 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 Right. Gucci. All right. All right. Okay, okay, ready to go. Okay. Yes. Connie? I think, uh, because it's a fashion brand, it just means that's cool. You're maybe like paying someone a compliment if you say, oh, that's Gucci. And I have something really good, anything. Like you could have a new car for 200 pounds. So that's Gucci. <laughs> no. I don't think we've hit the mark. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Uh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you would say that's Gucci. Like that's about, Gucci. about okay. something. Yeah, it just means like it's a really good that's thing. Cool. That's, that's a Gucci pen for you. Thank you. This is another Irish one that I can mm -hmm. say now you'll have absolutely no clue what it means. <laughs> and I doubt you're going to get it, all good. right? All right. So this is an expression that I would have used when I lived back in Ireland in Fermanagh. How's she cutting? How is she cutting? cutting. Mm -hmm. How is she cutting? Could you say it, how is he cutting? No, no. it's always oh, a shame. No, no. Oh. I think it means, how's it going? Okay. Like, okay. Now, what's up, how's it going? How's she cutting? You come in the door, I'm like, good to see you, Jeff. How's it cutting? How's she cutting? How's she cutting? Oh. How's she cutting? Oh. And I think it means, how's the new wife or girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had zero faith in you. But you're exactly right, Eric. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> you would ask someone, how's she cutting? Mm -hmm. And their response is always either full of the blade mm -hmm. or she's cutting low. It's just an expression. It's like when you ask someone, how are you? And they yeah. always say, oh, I'm fine. Doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. It's just like a formality when you meet someone in Fermanagh. You say, how's she cutting? And they always say, oh, full of the blade. And then the conversation moves on. The she oh, is the combine so harvester. The blade. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think cutting low is wow. maybe a good thing. 
Yeah. Wow. So it's a very country, like, culty thing to say. Mm -hmm. I like that one. We should follow that up with some country slang of our own. Ooh. Ooh. This is a, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Oof. I've never heard this one before <laughs> either. Okay. okay. I I've, like it. I've heard people use this one. You've heard uh, this used like in a conversation. Yes. Yes. What? I think I'm pretty confident well, about this one. Butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. God, I'm not sure now. <laughs> I think it means I don't believe you. I think it means, wow, I'm really shocked. So oh, so they're both okay. Kind of same. 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 Yeah. Yeah, like, same. Oh, same. well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Yeah, it, it actually means uh, that you're genuinely chuffed. Oh, okay. Chuffed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know what chuffed means either. Do you think That's you're going to start using way. that? Uh, it's really long. That takes ages mm -hmm. to say. Okay, yeah. so what does it mean actually? So it just, it just means you're really happy. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. You got me a new car? <gasps> Amazing. So we did three English slang, mm -hmm. and now this is our third Irish one. Okay. I'm foundered. What I'm does that mean? Foundered. I'm foundered. Wow. <laughs> Can you say it with that accent again? I'm foundered. Foundered. My oh. Irish accent, I've, I've kind of lost it now, if I'm honest. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. I've been over in England so long. So when you go back to Northern Ireland, are people like, where are you from? Yeah, I get that a lot. A lot of people think I'm from America or Canada. But it definitely wow. gets stronger. So it does. it does, when you go back, it yeah, picks I, back up? Yeah, definitely. I get more, more Irish when I go back. I'm foundered. I'm, I'm foundered. I think it either means I'm sick. Okay. So you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't go out. I'm foundered. Oh, I'm foundered. Or it means I'm stumped. Like, I don't know. I, okay. I, I'm foundered. Oh, what puzzle? Uh, I'm shocked, dumbstruck, and speechless. Like, okay. I'm, I'm foundered. <gasps> Neither of you were correct, but I will say that both of us were foundered yesterday. Both of us were foundered yesterday. Cold. Cold. Yeah, oh, I'm really? foundered. Wow. It means you're freezing. You're I didn't see I'm, that. I'm gonna start using this because yeah. I'm always so, foundered. Where does that come from? What is foundered? I don't know. It's just something we've always said. I don't know wow. where it comes from. Can you say it's foundering out there? I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> no. Okay, so here's one that relates specifically to where we're from. Um, what does it mean when people say the mountains are out? The mountains oh. are out. The mountains are out. People maybe use it in other parts of the country, but I just know we have a lot of. In Seattle, it's a very common expression. Yeah. You'd have to have mountains in okay. probably. I think it means that the truth is out. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mountains are out. And I think it means the weather is clear. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Okay, so we've got a no. No. Oh, oh, no. Yes. Oh, oh yes. How are you <laughs> doing? So I'm from New York, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes total sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going back to English ones now. Mm -hmm. And this is one that's quite important for me. Going like the clappers. Going like the clappers. A lot of people in England use this expression but probably don't know where it originated Originates from. from. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, I, I, I have an idea. Oh, yeah. If they can guess, they should guess now before we've written it down. That would be really good if you know where it comes from too. Another many essay. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think it means doing something with great enthusiasm okay. and that it originates from the, the bell towers, bell ringers. Okay. It, okay. it originates somewhere up there in the bell tower. And I would say it means you're really excited. Really excited. So you're like excited but, activity. Almost. It's going really fast. So if oh. you're doing something yourself, you could be, you'd probably be quite enthusiastic about it. Mm, yeah. But going like the clappers, like a, a car or a train could be moving, you know, like it was going like the clappers, or you, lots of things could be happening. Because it's like bang, 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 yeah. bang, 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 okay. bang. So where did it come from? Oh yeah, okay. Because they don't know. Caveat, possibly. Caveat, I think, this comes from the clapper inside a bell, so when you have all the bells in a bell tower going oh. round, they're going like the clappers. The clapper is the bit in the middle that hits the outside and makes the noise. Yeah, Jeffrey is an avid bell ringer. Yes. It's great yeah. name. <laughs> it's how we met, actually. Yeah. 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 It's a good thing. Bell tower. If you haven't seen our walking tour of a tiny English town, click this link right up here and you'll be able to see the bell tower that we met 
these two inside of. This word <laughs> is cattywampus. Whoa. Cattywampus. How'd you spell that? C-A-T-T-Y-W-A-M-P-U-S. Well, well, that helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cattywampus. I think it means something along the lines of that's really confusing. Ah, okay. Confusing. I'm feeling confused. Okay, so just from the word alone, yes. I think it means Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. It all went to cattywampus. Yeah, it all went to cattywampus. <laughs> no. Uh, oh. Eh? oh, a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. What it means is it basically the equivalent of wonky. Right. Oh. So, okay. crooked. 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 Like crooked? Yeah, like crooked. Okay. So you could say that, ah, you know, the... The tent is a little cattywampus, or yeah. I have never heard that before. Okay. Just clutching at straws, it would never be a situation. Maybe you could say it went Cat a bit cattywampus. Would it be? He's no. kind of a cattywampus person. No, I didn't get that okay. point. I didn't get that yeah. point. Yeah. No, I, think it's wrong. I think it's wrong. So our next one is the life of Riley. Oh, it's the life of the Riley. The life of Riley. I think it means to be living a life. Of luxury, like Ooh. he's living the life of Riley, okay. or she's living so, the life of Riley. Gucci bags, yeah. Mercedes Benz. Like you would say that about someone who drives a nice car, lives in a nice house, okay. pretty Gucci a good life. Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gucci <laughs> life, one might say. Living the good life. Like, okay. Yes. Morally, okay. so Same yeah, someone who's just not necessarily luxury, but they just they're having a good life. Having mm -hmm. a good life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And yes. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so, who is Riley? Yes. If anyone knows who Riley is and where this Riley can be found, yeah, I just yeah, tell, yeah. tell us the origin of this this, this English Riley phrase. Person. We may have borrowed it from somewhere else. So the next one is JoJo's. That's it. It's nice. JoJo's. That's, That's all we get. That's all we get. JoJo's. JoJo's. I don't know if this is a regional thing. Tell what? us if it's a regional thing, other stateside people. Can you give us a tone of voice? JoJo. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Not Jojo's. 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 Okay, I've gone out on a limb here. <laughs> I can explain. People who go to the gym. Oh. <laughs> Alright, explain yourself. Okay. That means explain it. <laughs> oh, God, <it's> not right. <laughs> All I could think of was like a baby kangaroo, yeah. Joey. Jumping around, and then oh, I just couldn't get the so it's you know, Jojo. exercise. Okay. That's why yeah. I thought Jojo, maybe. He's kind of a like gym monkey. Gym. Yeah. Yeah, oh, gym, gym bunny, kangaroo. Kind of <laughs> Jojo. Kangaroo. I'm not feeling good about this one, but I think something along the lines of having a good time. Having a good time. All right. Sure. Want to score those? So. Okay. No! <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. And also, no. Uh, ah. Jojo's is actually a type of food. I was gonna say that first. What kind of food? Do you have any idea no. what kind of food it would kangaroo. be? Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we can eat kangaroo no, in no. the States. Is it something to do with like a barbecue? Mm, you might not have directly. It at a barbecue? Yeah. Is basically it? they're they're really thick, what you would call chips. So right. fat chips, basically fat chips. I, like yeah. real people chips say from the fat chip shop. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, so fat they're chips. really, really fat chips. Straight faces all around. Yes. No laughing. What does it mean when we say, give me a tinkle on my blower? <laughs> <laughs> that, that can't be good. <laughs> or maybe it can be. Yeah, well, what is what is a blower and what does it mean to tinkle? <laughs> if we're honest, this isn't like you used very often at all. It would be something that would have said a long time ago. Okay. I've never used it in my yeah. life. I never use this. Give me okay. a tinkle on the blower. Do you give many people a tinkle on your blower? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I, I, I try not to, I suppose. Don't want to interrupt anything. All right, well, to, to avoid the sake of going too graphic, uh, something sexual. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay, wow. Okay. And I think it means give me a kiss, because, you know, you blow kisses with your mouth. Blower. Oh, so, yes. Like, uh -huh. give, yeah. All right. like, a, like a light kiss, like a peck. Just a gentle, okay. gentle, yes. gentle, gentle. Tinkle. That <laughs> says a lot about your minds and where you go. No, <laughs> very I read there too, but I, because in the States, a, to take a tinkle means to go pee. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah, 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 there's, yeah. There's across there as well. So I'm right. No. No, no, no not at, definitely not. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and definitely not Grace. Really? Yeah. It's, it's give me a phone good. call. Just call me on the phone. 
Really? Okay. Yeah, is your phone you a blower? Phone call? Perfectly innocent. Is your I don't phone know what. Blower? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, but yeah. What's the blower for? The blower is the phone. Really? Yeah. It's from when you had the you, you know, know when you had the two blower. pieces of phone and you had the like the microphone yeah. and the earpiece. And, it's a, like a little funnel thing, like a uh, did, did not, not at all. No idea. Do yeah. people still mean it that way, or has it evolved to a different meaning? There'd be a certain du to, to the to the phrase. Well, I am never one. going to use that one, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> Just because if I said that to anyone, they'd be like, "Yeah, they would look at you." Funny. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. think we can use Quoi? that one back your, home. Your mum could do it to you. You know? Perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this one comes from our city, Seattle, okay. but is now used nationwide. Wow. I don't. You may even use it in the UK. I'm not sure, but it is Skid Row. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no. It doesn't sound pleasant. So we're gonna have a Skid Row. Gonna pop over to the Skid Row. Could you hand me the Skid Row? I'm just gonna buy some Skid Row. Yeah. Are you sure about that, things. Skid Row? Were any of those correct? Uh, one of those was correct. One of those was correct. Yeah. If you know what Skid Row means, drop your comment down below. Jeffrey, you seem a bit confident. A horrible place. <laughs> a horrible place. <laughs> but why, why is this place horrible? Skid? Or maybe it's maybe it's as I see. It might be just quite slippery. I'm thinking along similar lines. An area, a place that you don't want to go to. Ah. That maybe it's a bit dodgy. A bit dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to go there yeah. at night time, especially. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely not. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking along similar lines. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Don't well. Yes and yes. Yeah. 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 Wait, who says yes too? I think oh, God. God. it's just close to yeah. a, horrible, I can, I can, a horrible place. It really just anywhere, depends though. on your definition of the Like the base makes a horrible place. Yeah. I guess uh, well, I had, I we're kind of walking the point like back street now. Oh, you, okay. yeah. I think Connie's um, is more yay. correct. What Skid Row just means is just the red light district, basically. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's you might have casinos there, prostitutes, there's a lot of taverns. And that comes from Seattle because uh, back in the day when Seattle was first established, it was a logging community. Mm -hmm. And so they would drag logs from the top of the hill down to the water and ship them off. Mm -hmm. And it created this big skid row right. okay. uh, down through the center of the city and it divided the city. So this side of the skid row was, you know, the posh place, okay. the good place. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of where they skidded the logs, over there, that was Skid Row. Okay. Last round. Last, Last round. Final round. round. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What, what do we got? Have a butcher's. Have a have butcher's. A butcher's. Have a and butcher's. the butcher's has an S on the end. It's not just have a butcher. Yeah, no, specifically. Have a butcher's. What? Okay. Mm. Have a butcher's. That's okay. it. That's all you're getting. That is a nasty one to end on. Yeah. Tough. I'm ready. Eric seems confident. Yep, me too. Oh, you feel confident? No. Okay, okay. okay Eric, done. with all your so, confidence, come on. I feel that this word means have a fight. Have a fight. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Having a butcher's in oh, the terrible. street. Have like, a butcher's. Yeah. Uh, step outside, mate. We're going to have a butcher's. Oh my god. If you've got beef, you might have a butcher's. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, I see. They would okay. go together. Yeah. Okay, okay. And mine is a lot more practical. It's to eat a big meal. Okay. Ooh, nice. so we're going to go have a butcher's. Nice. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm wrong. No. <sighs> no. Oh, <laughs> oh. This is from Cockney Rhyming Slang. Butcher's hook, like a meat hook that you'd hang up, yeah. and hang up a carcass on. And butcher's hook rhymes with look. It's to look at something. What? And then they work <laughs> it right back again. So it's I'm to not look sure at how they walk it. Yeah, yeah, so you anything. say, let's have a butcher's hook would be the full version. But then you, you just get so used to it, you just lose the hook. You say, wow. let's have a butcher's. Let's have a butcher's. Yeah. Like to look at something interesting or just like. So if, if Eric was working on something, I'd say, oh, let's have a butcher's. Okay. I'm like, oh, you have a new yeah, baby. Have a let's have a butcher's. No, <laughs> no, you don't want to say that about a baby. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Our last Americanism is. John Hancock. That's it. That's it. That's all we get. John Hancock. Right. It could be. Can you pass me the John Hancock? <laughs> Wait, why did I use? You don't, weird accent? You don't have an <laughs> no. accent. I gotta do my American accent. Could you pass me the John Hancock? <laughs> Just, Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. We've got to pick let's, which one of these. Let's have a John Hancock. Let's all hop at the John Hancock. Could you sit on the John Hancock? My <laughs> 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 Lord. Don't uh, say that. that. Um, it could mean a lot of things. Is any of those right? I don't know. I don't know. Don't peek. I'm not peeking. Okay, I'm not peeking either. 
No peeking. It's gonna be an exciting one. This one's in the bag, I've got this. A John Hancock is a hopeless person. Ah, oh, so he's, okay, he's down as luck. Well, I was thinking Hancock. Have you seen the film Hancock? Yeah. Yeah, about the hopeless superhero who's just a bit, yeah. you know, just a bit rubbish at everything. Mm -hmm. That was all I had to go on. I'm trying to make it into Cockney rhyming slang and it, it can't be. I'm thinking it is about this person mm -hmm. being a character. He, mm -hmm. she is a character. Oh, Ooh, so, oh, they are quite a John Hancock. Yeah. They're a John Hancock, yeah. yeah. No. Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> no. Oh. So. oh. In that movie, they actually give the definition of John Hancock. What? Oh, it was ages ago. I didn't even think it was a very good film. <laughs> oh, it, was, it wasn't a very good film. In short, John Hancock just means your signature. Oh. Okay. So, if someone hands you a piece of paper, and they're like, oh, can you just put your John Hancock right here? Okay. It comes from, you know, a bit of history. Do you know uh, the Declaration of Independence? Yes. So a bunch of blokes signed it, yeah. and uh, they were all doing like little tiny signatures, like, you know, <laughs> because they, were, they knew that if they got caught, they'd get yeah. hung. And so John Hancock was this one really uh, fiery guy, and he was just like, well, if we're gonna die, we may as well die proud. His signature is very famous for being okay. this massive, Signature. Signature. On the so okay. now John Hancock is just a synonym for signature. That's the end of this slang challenge. Did we miss your favorite? What's yeah. your favorite that we didn't include? And did we get them all right when we were doing them? We want to make sure that our slang is on fleek, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you have that one? No idea. Uh, yeah. Maybe on point, maybe? Not yeah, many people. On point. On point. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. It's there's a newer another one. one. Yeah. So if we got anything wrong, please correct us. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a massive thumbs up. That'll help the YouTube algorithm spread it around. We make videos about travel, cultural differences, culture shock, and as of today, slang. If you enjoy this kind of content, do subscribe and follow along. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.